Hi all. In this video I will tell you about the last appearances of Esmart 2.0 on the web and my attempts to get it. The end of 2021 will have been marked by the first appearance of Esmart 2.0 on Yahoo Auctions. On November 6, 2021 at 11.18 am, Paris time, an auction for the full eSmart 2.0 appeared online. Unfortunately, one minute later it was sold. No trace of its buyer, the ECDP Discord is in turmoil. Who was behind the purchase of this cartridge? The answer would come 8 days later. The Twitter user Mimi posted photos of the game menu as well as the game's manual. In truth, he contacted me after his Twitter purchase on November 6th. And on November 20th, 2021, he would broadcast 1 minute 50 of gameplay via an emulator, still on Twitter. Mimi explained to me that he would not share the dump of the cartridge because ROM distribution is illegal, so I'm not going to do it. I also don't want to lower the rarity. At the same time, I received an email from McDonald's Japan indicating that they could not help me with my search. Research is still at a standstill. On December 23, 2021, eSmart 2.0 appeared for the second time on Yahoo Auction and I acquired it. My hands were shaking, I finally got my hands on this legendary cartridge. The ECDP Discord was celebrating but, 9 minutes later. I received a refund, the seller just cancelled the sale. What happened? My payment didn't go through? Bai confirms that the cancellation is from the seller himself. Confirmation would come a few minutes later. The seller is reselling the cartridge for 300,000 yen, or almost 2,400 euros. But there was a disaster, with the seller having cancelled my sale, he received an evaluation of minus 2. It is now not possible to buy through a proxy service. Mimi intervened and came to my help. He contacted the seller and managed to get his contact on Twitter. He also learned that the seller had two boxed ECDP cartridges. The seller did not care if the auction got blocked overseas. Yet he missed a sale. But Mimi takes it one step further and contacts another seller who sells a Nintendo C McDonald's console. He tells him that he also has an eSmart 2.0 cartridge, but that he is not ready to sell it. Despite my reminders to the seller who cancelled my sale, the seller tells me that he will bring the auction back online through a new account if the cartridge does not sell. One day before the end, someone ends up buying the cartridge. By checking the conversation, we learn that he actually bought eSmart 2.0 and eCDP together for 300,000 yen. Even when people were ready to buy eSmart 2.0 alone outside of Japan, two days later, the second seller that Mimi had contacted decides to sell his cartridge for 300,000 yen too. Immediately I put 200,000 yen on the auction so that I would not miss it. This would make me the top bidder throughout the auction. But on December 29th at 2.55 pm, while I was in line at Costco snack, I received a notification. Someone had just bought the eSmart 2.0 cartridge for 300,000 yen, causing me to lose the bid. This is the consternation in the ECDP community. Once again the cartridge had just slipped through our fingers. Anyone wondering? 
Was it Nick Robinson? A Japanese collector? A YouTuber who also wanted to ride the wave? No information filters on its potential buyer. 2021 ends together with this great opportunity to have eSmart 2.0. 2022 has barely started and already new offers. On January 2nd, seller Y7V3C is putting up for sale an exceptional lot. The entire McDonald's cartridge series is on sale. ECDP, eSmart and eSmart 2.0 The problem is, it aligns its prices with previous sales. He therefore starts his auctions at very high prices. For example, he sells eSmart 2.0 at a price of 300,000 yen in auction format. At the time of making this video, the cartridge still hasn't found a buyer. Will anyone get this famous cartridge? I know the purchaser of the eSmart 2.0 cartridge sold at the end of 2021. It was unthinkable to let go of this cartridge in the wild, in the hands of a collector who would have stored it in the bottom of a dark safe. It was with the help of the Forest of Illusion and a small team that, I acquired eSmart 2.0. Yes, finally. eSmart 2.0 is no longer lost. Forest of Illusion recovered eSmart 2.0 in order to dump it for backup, before shipping the cartridge to my home. I invite you to visit the Forest of Illusion Twitter page which I will add in description. eSmart 2.0 is finally a reality. In order to thank Forest of Illusion and the small team, I decided to give a gift. I have created 38 commemorative eDum 2.0 cartridges. The first few copies were offered to the whole team. For those that remain, I will put them up for sale on eBay. Profits collected will be used to reimburse those who donated. This way you too will be able to help with the backup of Esmart 2.0. In a few moments, you will be able to experience the full gameplay of Esmart 2.0 on my channel. Thanks for watching this video and thank you for supporting me over the past few years.